Hello class, George here, and in this first video we're going to install Android Studio onto our computer. Now I am using a copy of Windows 10 on a PC. Um, you can be using whatever you want to, just realize you're going to have to make sure that I can understand your projects in the future, that I can get your Android Studio projects and be able to grade them on my platform. So the first thing we want to do is using your preferred browser and of course your preferred search engine, go ahead and just type in Android Studio. Now in this case it'll default for Google, but if we were at Bing, let's just take a look at what that's going to be like. Or Yahoo or whatever the heck is a current search engine. So let's go ahead and do Android Studio. Here we are. It shows up here as a link that I've already uh, been to. And it does as well over here on the top. But make sure it's a developer.android.com link, just so you know you're not dealing with any nefarious people trying to... Uh, uh, divert their traffic. But the idea is here, this is the website. The website's probably going to change based upon when you read this content. Um, you know, everyone updates the way things look. What you want to do is go ahead and click this link right here. In the case for me, it's for Windows. Now, I've already downloaded this, so I'm not going to click this link. But it will take you a few minutes because it's about a gig in size. Now, after you do click this and you say, yes, thank you very much, and you hit download, um, I'm going to cancel that in just a second. It'll take you to this page. Cancel. So on this page, you'll notice right here at this line, it's saying, hey, well, first of all, instructions. Change your instructions for your preferred platform. In my case, it's Windows. Take a look here, and it's going to say, you need to verify that you have the Java development kit right here that, you, that basically corresponds to this version of Android Studio. We can check this by launching the command line and running this line right here. If you don't have the JDK available, this line's probably not going to work. Um, in addition, if you have an earlier version than 1.8, travel to this website and download the correct version. So I'm going to right click and open that in a new link. We're going to come down here, type in CMD, to go to the command line. And then within the command line, let's just do, uh, what is it, JavaC uh, flag version. Enter, and there we have, I have 1.8.0 underscore 11. Now this version is of course greater than 1.8, so I'm technically safe. But let's go ahead over here and take a look at what versions are currently available. So here we have 8.101. Uh, we accept the license if you need it, and then we find the version that we're dealing with, in my case Windows X64, and I would then click and download that link. Once again though, I have already downloaded this, so I'm not going to uh, play with it. I am going to go to my downloads folder over here though, and take a look at a few things. So here we have the latest stuff. I have the Android Studio bundle and I also have my uh, Java uh, JDK. I'm going to click on the JDK first for the installation. Let's click on yes. We're going to walk through this, hit next. Uh, you really shouldn't need to change anything in this particular case. You may want to change your default uh, drive if, if necessary, but I'm going to leave it for C program files. Hit next as well and let this install. In my case, I had an earlier version of JDK on here, therefore it's removing that earlier version and replacing it with the latest version. Destination folder, click change to install, no, that's fine, hit next. We don't need to access any of the tutorials or API stuff right now, so we're going to just hit close. Now it's time for us to run Android Studio. So click on this, or you know, go to your folder and click on it manually if you want to, it doesn't matter to me. Here we are, hit the next button, check this stuff out, we've got the SDK. We've got the virtual device, which is important for the emulator. Um, and of course, we have Android Studio itself. I do recommend installing all of these things. Notice the space requirement, though, 4.2 gigs. So make sure you put it on a drive that uh, you want to work with. Next, scroll on down. Of course, always remember to read everything. I agree. The location specified must have 500 megabytes of free space. This is our Android Studio install location. We also have the SDK install location, where we need 3.2 gigabytes of space. Travel over to your PC and take a look at what your space requirements are. I'm using SSD at the moment and I don't have a ton of space. So I am probably going to move this over into my other directory. My, uh, so in which case I'm just going to change this because I believe I operate on an E directory. So let's do E and E for both. Hit next. Install if you want this to be added to your start menu or do not create shortcuts. It's up to you. Show the details. Hopefully what you understand is that Android Studio is a fairly complicated program. The great news is that uh, since I'm teaching this class this semester, Android Studio has become incredibly refined and is a great development environment. The last time I taught this course, Android Studio had just come out. Literally, I had to change my entire lesson plan to coincide with Android Studio as opposed to Eclipse. Um, Android, was Android Studio was incredibly buggy at that time, and many of my students had problems installing and getting Android Studio to work, as well as other instances where Android Studio itself would simply just stop functioning, and you'd have to go in and delete files from the registry and clear things out manually. 
the good news is that uh, everything's far more stable and we should not run into nearly as many problems in the future. All right, that took a long time, so let's hit next. And we're gonna finish by starting Android Studio. So apparently, a long time ago when I taught this course last time, I did have a pre uh, previous version of Android Studio. I'm not going to import those settings, so let's hit OK. All right, so we're gonna be asked to set up our development environment. Now this has changed a little bit since the last time I used Android Studio, so let's be careful as we move through this. Hit next. We're gonna go with a standard setup for now. Uh, custom, I'm assuming, allows us to change installation components. Coming on down here, we'll take a look at what's actually going to be installed to my C drive, total size of the downloads, and of course, next, what tools we're going to be grabbing. So we're going to be getting an emulator accelerator, which I highly recommend you download. This allows the emulator to respond a lot faster. And what, from what I understand, since the last time I used Android Studio, this has been vastly increased. We're also going to be downloading the SDK platform tools for specifically platform 24. So let's go ahead and hit finish now. It's going to download the, those individual files it just mentioned before. So give it a few more minutes again. Now don't worry at this time if the platform that was selected isn't the one you want to work with. You could have gone under the custom feature and then downloaded the ones you wanted in particular. Or after this is finished, we can go in there and download any SDKs of any platforms that we decide um, based upon our own use. Now in this class, we're going to probably just stick to one platform, uh, one of the more recent ones, but we're definitely always going to stick to at least Android 4 Plus, probably targeting more of 5 and above. All right, we're all done, finally. Let's hit finish. And what we're going to want to do is start a new project right here. Now this is where we're going to end this video and talk about creating our first project as well as the entire Android Studio interface. Thanks everyone, hope you enjoyed it. See you next time, bye.